Hi everyone, and welcome to Rave Tips 101 with Lovely Ann. That's my Insta name, by the way. So fun. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some tips that will hopefully make your rave life easier. Now, to give you an overview, some are going to be obvious, but I've definitely been in that situation. Some should be obvious because it happens way too much, and some are absolutely genius. I'm telling you, it's going to blow your mind, you're going to tell your friends, you're definitely going to do it in your future, so stay tuned. Now first, let's talk about the obvious. Check the weather. And when I mean check the weather, I mean check it between the time you're leaving the rave and the time you're walking to your car, because that's when you're really gonna hate yourself. It's so fucking cold, I'm gonna cry. Don't cry. If you cry, just like breathe deeply. We could do this. What is it? No, fuck this. Oh my God. We thought we were gonna die, but I'm here today to tell you to bring a jacket. Now, it's simple as jacket and leggings. Just cover your skin because the wind gets blowing and you're going to start getting life. Look at that. Look at that. Save yourself. You could also get like those emergency blankets. They're square. They fit into your backpack and they just cover your skin and make you not one die. It's so fucking cold, dude. I know. I'm so happy we brought the sweater. Oh, like last year beyond, I... Dying. I thought I was gonna die. Yeah. That was like the most cold I've ever been. Maybe. So, so always gonna bring leggings. The next tip that I have involves screaming in people's ears. Don't do it. Don't scream in my ear to tell me your cousin's name. Especially if it's like the front of the stage. You run into someone from high school and they're like, this is my cousin Paige. And you're just like, fuck you. Ow. I mean, yes, it's courteous. I'm happy to meet you, but if you hurt my ear... Now, there is a way around this, and it's a two-way street. So, the sender, the one whispering, or screaming, I should say, um, face it towards their jaw, not their ear. Because if you think about it, and there was no music, someone was just screaming in your ear, how bad would that hurt? I mean, it hurts with the music, but like... No one would do that, right? Yeah, we do that all the time at raves, and it needs to stop. So I have a solution. You can still tell me your name. Just aim it at my jaw, right? Okay, so I'm going to be listening, and it's kind of a two-to-way streak. You can't give them your ear. Even put the hand over the ear and just be like, scream at my jaw. It works. <laughs> because imagine if the music wasn't on. They'd straight up be screaming in your eardrum. No, no thank you. And like I said, two-way streak. Don't give them your ear. Use the hand if necessary. Just whenever I try to scream in someone's ear, I scream at their jaw. And whenever I mess it up, because I've been guilty, I've definitely screamed in ears, it's because they're giving me their ear. Now the next tip is going to blow your mind. I'm talking genius. No, I didn't come up with it, but I was there. My boyfriend actually came up with it because we were trying to sell my wristband. Anyways, you want to go to the festival, but you're only looking to go for two days, right? Because, you know, um, you could not make it tighter to, like, hopefully fit other people, right? But sometimes when you're just there, which I'm the person, I was there, I was supposed to leave it untightened, and then I was just, like, having a good time and somehow tightened it. Not that I couldn't take it off, but that I couldn't fit it on to a man-sized wrist, which you want to get it to as big as the person wants, right? You don't know how big their size wrist is. So yeah, we're sitting there in the car looking up YouTube videos, freaking out because we want to sell my ticket. And we're like, okay, let's do the straw technique. No, no, no. Unless you have magic hands, I don't see that working. It's a pain in the butt. Way easier. Just run it over with your car. But yeah, you're gonna see. Roll the clip. All right, so I have here two wristbands. Now, one is like the regular Insomniac one, and this one is a Coachella one. Both should work. I've never tried a Coachella one, but we're gonna try it today. 
And like I said, this is mainly when the wristband is like, oh, I'm trying to sell this. Like, here you go. Like, no one's going to really appreciate that because honestly, I can't even get it on right now. So if I'm selling it to a person with a larger wrist, it's not going to fly. You need to get this loose. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can run it over with a car. All right, so here I am by the tire of the car. I have my Coachella wristband as well as the Insomniac one. And what you're gonna do is put the bracelet lock right under the tire. So I'm gonna show you how. Let's take a closer look. So I'm actually gonna try to do both at the same time. You're just gonna tuck the bracelet right under the tire, which the tire is pretty thick, so you'll be fine. Let's get in there. Yes, and the insomniac. Okay, let's roll. You're going backwards. Take me off. Okay, so now that it's cracked, you can take the teeth out and you have a loose bracelet. Voila. Yeah. And for the Coachella one? Yeah. And as for the Coachella one, the Coachella one did crack. It was just a little bit different. You just had to open it up and kind of make it looser. But this too also got loose. And you could tighten it. Back up. Some other quick tips that I could give you would be to definitely eat, um, but don't eat too much fiber. It's not fun. Also, take vitamins. Yes. Replenish your body. Most important tip right here. Vitamins make me feel bomb. Um, you could get like a multivitamin or one of those vitamins from I Heart Raves that have like multiple vitamins in it. I guess that's a multivitamin catered to ravers. Um, or you could do your research and find out vitamins that are personally catered to you. But I swear by them, they make you feel so much better. Please, please do it. A great tip. Also, stretch your body. You're going to be dancing for like 10 hours. It's not a normal thing to do. So do a pike, touch your toes. Um, you know, especially with headbangers, like stretch your upper body, roll your neck out. Like we are ready to rage. So actually get ready to rage because it's not, it's no laughing matter over here. Mm -mm. Um, another tip would be to take pictures in the daylight before you look crazy. Sun's out, booty popping, just do it. Like get it done. <laughs> And lastly, if you don't know what to bring, definitely check out my YouTube video. It'll be in the description box on everything that you should bring to a rave to be the most prepared. So that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope if you learned anything, give it a thumbs up and definitely share that wristband trick. I swear, like if you could take anything out of this video, run your wristbands over with a car. It's it's amazing but yeah i hope you have a really fun festival season if you're single get all the rave bays or i should say find your one and only true rave bay but be safe out there and yeah if you see me at a rave ever make sure to say hi and i will see you in my next video